Yo, yo, YouTube, what's happening? What's happening? It's your boy Frank Nitty checking back in with another video. You know what I'm saying? I just hopped off the grill. You know what I'm saying? With some up for the family or whatever like that. But I do want to get back into this second part. So the second part is basically let y'all know. Them broker loads, I know because I take them a lot. I done been on different load boards. Well, that line haul is that flat rate. So with that being said, Nothing to really worry about. We still gonna make the bread. We're gonna make more money. You gotta think about it. If we taking loads and getting paid 65%, on some of them loads, you don't even see the line haul. So if you already know how much you was making at 65%, what you was grossing weekly, what you was taking home, uh and net, what you was making monthly, all this is that uh this, that, and the third. You think them people gonna really cut them loads and start taking money from you where it's noticeable and then still turn around and say we not robbing you if you take one month at 65 percent using an old pay scale or them just showing you the breakdown and you brought home 35 and then you do the same thing on the next one and you bring home 15 you're gonna be able to tell them it's a difference so i doubt that it'd be like that all these other companies doing it and it's really nothing to even worry about you know what i'm saying honestly um just to piggyback off my homeboy video um trucking with tony it was a bit of a miscommunication this morning so the thing is this let me tell y'all something and this is to my subscribers if you talking to more than one usa driver about personal issues that's where you're gonna mess up don't straddle a fence or say two different things. If somebody asks one thing, then you come back and you say something else. And then you telling me the thing, talk to one person. Because between two, four, five different people, it's going to come back different every time. Y'all have to realize this. People ask us for money all the time. The thing is, USA don't pay me for these videos. Um, they don't tell me what to say. The persona that I put on in these videos is to be professional, to be, um, professional. I don't like to portray myself as, I don't like to show, um, who I, who I really am. You know, if you get what I'm trying to say, my personal is different than my business just put it like that so what's going on behind these closed doors or different conversations or whatever like that because this has happened to me multiple times was y'all want advice financial assistance mental assistance and it's like y'all go back and forth with me about this and it's it's draining and i'm not gonna just talk about this situation today a young lady hit me up asking me, how do I feel mentally about a certain situation? If I give you what I feel, don't then come back and say, you know, well, such and such said this. So I don't, my, I just give you an opinion, my opinion. Then whatever such and such is telling you, if it's not the same, nine times out of 10, I'm probably giving the best advice. And let's just keep it a thousand. Watching videos, you know I'm going to keep it a thousand. Nine times out of 10, I'm going to give the best advice. So, I'm not going to tell you to do something you ain't got been doing. Leave your personals out of, out of the business. You got anything going on. For him on out, I understand some drivers be like, hey, bro, I did this, I did that. I salute you. It's good to see, you know what I'm saying, how you living your life, how you doing all that. But when it come to, yo, you know, when it come down to, to struggles and stuff like that, don't, I'm not the guy to come to. I'm not. If you already spoke to somebody else, I don't have no hard feelings towards nobody. But when stuff get miscommunicated and it start getting ugly and back and forth, I could become a different, you know. It could, it could, it could, I could become somebody else. We got this situation cleared up. A holiday dude, he told me what it was, and that was that. No hard feelings towards dude. It's understood. It's just when you communicate with one person, you communicate with that one person. If you need advice, 
I'm not going to somebody with a street mentality. And then going to somebody that ain't never been to the streets and getting both opinions. And you want to give me somebody that ain't never been to the streets. Then that's when our communication becomes a little conflict because you can't tell me something from somebody that ain't been in a type of situation. It's like, you've been shot. I have like, you can't come to me and say, Hey bro, how you feel about this? This is like, I'm gonna tell you. But you go to somebody that ain't been shot, don't come back to me talking about, oh, he said you ain't never been shot. So, I don't know if that was a good way to put it or whatever like that. I got a female. She asked me for a couple dollars or whatever like that. <laughs> right before I sent it, somebody else told me, hey, bro, did such such ask you for something? Yeah. This is getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. And then you got to realize scamming go on so much in between drivers, in between people that's coming on. Keep it a thousand. If you talk to more than one person and that's cool. Like, hey, man, I'm going to try to get it from him. But if I could get it from you, like, that'll be like, you got to emphasize. You got to put more on it. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is this. I don't mind helping people. Just don't. It be too much miscommunication, man. It's too much. And y'all got to realize, all these USA drivers that do, um, most of the drivers that do YouTube videos or whatever like that, we communicate. If somebody feels some type of way, because a lot of times I don't be thinking about it. But if somebody else feels some type of way, then they come back and like, hey, bro, such so, such so said this, I feel like this day in the third. I be like, damn, you might be right. Then that's when I got to come back. Hey, bro, you trying to, you know, but this is all about helping the next person, keeping the knowledge going, keep dropping, keeping y'all updated or whatever. It's extremely hot outside and I'm not going to keep talking to y'all, but we continue to grow. Y'all worried about USA and Elevation. They doing it. They doing it. That's why they just switched that low board to what it is. To me, I feel like you're gonna make more money the way they bought to do it. Especially on the low them broker loads, you bought to make more money. And I love pulling broker loads, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about that. But other than that, y'all stop being worried, confused, um, and all that extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? They not scamming y'all out your money, you're gonna make the same amount. So it's nothing big, it's nothing major, they not taking no money from you. You know, they just switching up the system so that you can see it a total different way. You know what I'm saying? But it's your boy Frank Nitty. Bought to check out with another one. I'll holler back at y'all on it.